So when you've selected your field, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you filled out your field description with as much information as possible. If you don't know the answers, you can ask one of your parents or the owner of the land. Then you're going to select a representative site to do a soil test, a soil pit. To do the soil pit, you're going to need a tape measure and a shovel and a little bit of strength. So you've dug your soil pit. You want to make sure that it's about a foot square and a foot deep. And you want to be taking that measurement right on that edge of the top of the soil. So trying for a full foot deep if it's possible to get there. Now it's possible to take some of the measurements straight from the soil pit here, but sometimes it's hard to really see what's going on. So you might want to take a slice of the soil from one of the sides of the pit, which I'll do right now. There you go. That's it. So you can see here, it's still not quite a full foot, but getting pretty close. So let's start here to do the first measurements for your soil pit description. So for your soil pit description, the first thing we're going to look for is the top soil depth. So, and we're going to measure that in inches. So when you look at the top of your soil here, you're going to look to see if there's a really significant change in color. Usually topsoil is a really dark black color, and then it changes color when you go further deeper into the horizon. In this soil, it's really hard to see soil, or your topsoil layer. In the cookie, it really, doesn't really look, you can't really see it very well in here at all. But if you look in the soil pit itself, you can see there is just the dark, a little bit of a dark layer before it gets into the, the lighter gray color. You can see here for the topsoil that it really is less than an inch, almost less than half an inch, just perhaps that really dark layer right there between the surface before it goes into the light gray. So for this soil, I'm going to call it less than half an inch, but yours might be different. Next, we have plant roots. So we want to see how deep those roots are, the roots are getting into the soil. So you can see from this slice, we've gotten about 10 inches down. Now for the roots, you want to take a look at where, and put any comments for where there's abundance root, abundance of roots, and where maybe the roots are still making down, but there's fewer of them. In order to do this, you might have to move around, the, play a little bit with the soil to kind of see how it breaks up. Oh, and while you see right here around six inches, you get this little abundance, this kind of dark seam coming in here. That's possibly from the last time it was tilled under where the top soil was flipped down into the profile. So it's an important thing that you could put on your notes as well. Something to keep in mind of what, what's happening in your soil and soil structure. For this, soil, I would say that it's probably pretty abundantly rooted for the top three to four inches before there's still some roots, but not, not too many. When we get down to nine to 10, there are still some roots deep down there, but they're quite small and quite fine. 